In this video, we're going over instructions for a single layer pleated mask. This mask uses less fabric and offers more breathability to the wearer, especially if worn in conjunction with a hospital grade mask. Our starting materials are one piece of eight by nine rectangular fabric and two pieces of half inch bias tape, each 36 inches long. Our first step is to iron the finished seams on the top and bottom edges of the fabric. I'm folding it over and ironing a quarter inch and then folding it over and ironing again. We'll do the same on the bottom. Then we have a nice ironed finished seam on both sides. We'll sew those in a minute. Next we're going to form three pleats. Each pleat is about a quarter inch, but doesn't need to be exact, so don't worry if yours aren't precise. The end goal is to have the pleated short side be between two and a half and three inches. That's what gives us the best fitted mask. Next, we take one of our lengths of bias binding and get ready to pin it. Measure 19 inches on the binding and make a mark on the inside. That's where we're going to insert the mask body. Open the binding and pin each pleat. and then do the same for the other side. Now we're gonna stitch everything in place. At this point, everything is ironed but not stitched. I'm starting at one end of the strip and stitching the entire length going over the pleats. Then do the same for the other side. When the two ties are done, we're going to switch over to the whole mask body. Remember, we still haven't stitched those finished edges that we ironed in the beginning, so we're finishing those now. I'm gonna flip it over to look at the seam and stitch around the entire outside edge. I'm finishing off those final edges and also double stitching over the pleated edges to make sure the ties are really secured in place.
Now we've got a finished mask with four ties. The longer ties fit around the top of the head and the shorter ones tie around the back of the neck. The entire mask will fit nicely over a hospital mask.